Hi, friends and family. Welcome back. And I'm Matt. <laughs> Today, we have a very special new video for you. I hope you're ready. Hold on to your butts. If you follow us on Twitch, you know that we play a lot of games that we never get around to actually reviewing. Can you feel that one? I think since we've started Girlfriend Reviews, we've played probably over a hundred games that you guys might not know we played because we haven't told you. Oh my gosh, there they go now. This is the list of Whoa, games. Baby. I had to type all that out. Yo ho, yo like ho, that. the pirate's life for me. And the reason we didn't review all of these games is because making an episode of Girlfriend Reviews takes forever. It takes so long, you guys. And we have to choose very carefully what game to review because we're going to be looking at, thinking about, and pooping that game game for the next two weeks. So we need to make sure that we have enough jokes and talking. Uh oh, Joey's Hello. ruining our new show. Listen. So this isn't a review of all those games we played. Because nobody got time for that. Mm -mm. This is the very first episode of the, the games, games we, we didn't, didn't review. review. So what games are we talking about today? Well, after hours of deliberation, we settled on one. Halo 3. 2. Luigi's Mansion 3. And lastly, I'm going to talk about Cyberpunk again. No! <laughs> Cyberpunk! CD Projekt Red! CD Projekt Red, baby. CD Projekt Red. It's actually Resident Evil 7. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Make sure you hang out after the video so we can tell you how cool it is. <laughs> so now let's get to the first game that we, we didn't, didn't review. review. Halo 3. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh. Bill Gates. I don't know how the song goes. It goes, this is Halo. <laughs> Beyonce. Will you tell us why we didn't make a video on Halo 3? Yeah. Halo 3 is an all-time classic hero. And... We didn't. <laughs> this is why we script our videos. When the Master Chief Collection came out on PC and it was just Halo Reach to our disappointment. What did I buy you for? To make me sad. We feel like that video said most of what we wanted to say about that era of Halo. Dozens of grown men and probably about three women have crawled out of their parents' basements tonight to be first in line to buy the new video game Halo 2. Hey, you, Jiminy. So you're saying we blew our Halo load? Yeah, we blew our load all over that Get Master Bill Gates game. Chief. But we want to talk about it. So I would love to talk about it. We're going to do that now. I had so much fun. Halo 3 was a freaking blast. And you know what was funny yeah. about it was I had to make the game and invite you to it. So I got to be Master Chief and you had to be stinky little, oh, that man. That's not how I recall. Okay, whichever one is doing good, that was me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Halo is fun for Matt because it's an opportunity for him to uh, really show off his sweet gamer moves. In college, I had a minor in Halo 3. Double major Smash Bros, but a minor in Halo 3. <laughs> <laughs> I, however, get to show off how good I am at driving. I drive. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, Halo 3 is a great game for someone of moderate skill level like Shelby because even if she's bad at it sometimes or is Which I'm not trouble, ever. And not she's once. really, really bad at it sometimes all the time. <laughs> I can still win the game for us, but then she feels like she did something. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm just kidding. She's pretty good. Pretty. Pretty good. She had a lot of firsts, I remember. She uh, hijacked her first wraith. You gotta get it, walk up to it and press E, and you can hijack it, but okay. you gotta be careful. I'll be careful. <laughs> Did you do it? Yeah. Nice, now you can either- What do I do? <laughs> slam, slam grenades into it if you have them. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Now jump off of it. You did it. I did it. Shelby just took out a wraith. That's a, I think that's the first time you've ever done that. Yeah. Good job, I'm proud of you. Oh no, there's another one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I drove through the warthog ending. It's a rite of passage. It is a rite of passage. And I could not take that away from her. I made her drive the warthog at the last level. I felt like that for me was like my gamer bat mitzvah. But after getting through that, I felt confident and strong yep. and brave enough to compete in Halo yeah. Online multiplayer. Yeah, have you ever played Halo 3 so much that you wish you could you could have and you could he could do you so much you could do anything? <laughs> 
inspired yeah. her. She could do anything, and she we, we, went, we played multiplayer, and she was pretty good. I remember we did one of those fancy, fun custom games, right. zombie thing, where she's the sniper in the tower, and everyone else is a zombie trying to get around to her. That's right. And she won. She killed everybody. You better believe it. Can you believe Bucko? this? Like that's the funnest ever to do yeah. those custom games. That's the most. That's peak fun. Oh lord. I'm hopping out. I'll, we're good. I'll, we're good. I'll we're sacrifice good. myself. We're good. Go. Oh god. Get out of here. Oh no. Get out of here. Go. <laughs> Arms no. of an angel. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> and so that is the review of Halo 3, and that's yeah. all you're getting. Yeah. I bunked my face. Until Halo Infinite comes out, that will definitely have a full normal episode of Girlfriend Absolutely, Reviews. that's gonna be fun. So Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good game. Why don't you tell us this time? why we didn't review Luigi's Mansion 3. It was a busy time, let me tell you, okay? Because we played Luigi's Mansion 3 on Halloween, and then a week later, Death Stranding came out. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> But we actually wrote like a page and a half of Luigi's Mansion script. Let's have Shelby read from that script briefly, and we'll do like a second of real girlfriend reviews. Oh my god, can you hand me my phone? The greatest sidekick of all time isn't Robin, or Chewbacca, or Donkey! The greatest sidekick of all time is that lovable hero in green, Sam. My dear Sam. But after that, somewhere on the list probably is Luigi. He's the typical younger brother who hardly ever gets invited to play. So when he does, it kind of feels like his mom set the whole thing up. Mario, let your brother hand out balloons or something. He's family. But every now and then, after Mommy Nintendo mistakes the drowsy eye alcohol warning for a winky eye alcohol suggestion, she lets him play Ghostbusters with the vacuum. Then everybody has a good condescending laugh when he says, I'm a star. <laughs> No, you're not. So we were in the process of a Luigi's Mansion 3 review. We but were. Death Stranding, then I think Fallen Order, then Pokemon Sword and Shield, and then Luigi, as usual, was forgotten <laughs> in the background. I'm sure you guys have noticed by now that Luigi is kind of a recurring joke on our channel. Yeah, we make fun of him all the time. Oh boy, let's see what's in the mirror box. <laughs> oh. It's something in here. Mario, <laughs> can you read this for me? I don't know how to read. Luigi's Mansion 3 is so funny. The cutscenes are like oh. Pixar levels of animation yeah. and humor. Yeah. And Luigi's personality oh, yeah. really shines in yeah. those cutscenes. And it's like a silent film almost. It so is, it has yeah. to use lots of funny oh, physical yeah. humor to make you laugh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. But the funniest parts come from the gameplay. We were cracking up the whole game, and my favorite part about it is that they actually give you a button on the D-pad <laughs> that is just there to make Shelby laugh. <laughs> yeah. Mario. The D-pad makes Luigi say Mario stuff. Mario. <laughs> What? I loved anticipating what moment <laughs> to do that to make her crack up. Mama, mama, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> And then the buttons that are actually useful also make a lot of hilarious stuff happen. <laughs> You're constantly like sucking and blowing and shooting things. Oops, sorry. Hey, whoa. <laughs> just look at the comedic timing of this puzzle right here. Oh, just barely though. That was too Don't much. bonk my noggin. Here, let me try, let me try. I want to no, try no, one. No. I want to try one. Oh, bonk come your on. noggin. What? It barked her again. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Luigi's Mansion 3 was hilarious from start to finish. Yeah. We were laughing the whole way through. Literally until he said the end. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. We saved the best for last, but certainly not least. The final game we, we didn't, didn't review, review is Resident Evil 7. What are you buying? That's a different game. What are you selling? <laughs> what are you buying? That's not that game. What the heck? Why didn't we review Resident Evil 7? The reason we didn't review Resident Evil 7 was because it was too good. What I mean by that is it was originally going to be in our 2018 Girlfriend Reviews first annual Halloween spooktacular clickbait bullcrap, whatever that was. <laughs> and uh, it, we, we thought it deserved its own video, though. But now we're doing it in another special about three games. 
because we want to save all of that first person Resident Evil energy for the new hype mommy, release. Big mommy, vampire, booby, lady, step yeah. on me, mommy. Ah, ah big titty big mama. mommy. Now tell us about your relationship with Resident Evil and why Seven is among your favorite entries. Resident Evil 2 Remake was my first exposure to the Resident Evil series. Going into that, I was like, what the hell is this? What is this beautiful game with terrifying graphics and this Backstreet Boy with hokey sayings? I need to get you to a hospital right now. And Resident Evil 7 was the game I was expecting from Resident Evil 2 Remake. That makes so much sense. So why do you think Resident Evil 7 is one of the best entries? I liked Resident Evil 7 so much because Resident Evil 6 was so bad. I've been playing Resident Evil since the first game on PlayStation. My friend had to leave the sleepover because it was so scary. Aww. I really appreciated Resident Evil 7 going back to its roots. Ah! Action, survival, horror. <laughs> it is scary, but it's not like isolation <laughs> alien. <laughs> It's not like Isolation Alien, which we stopped playing because we weren't sure we were actually having fun. What? Who? What? Or if we were just stressed out. Yeah. But in 7, there's a perfect balance of always feeling like you can handle it with the equipment and ammo and stuff they give you. Yeah. But not enough of that stuff to where you feel you safe. Feel safe. I like how big it is. Oh no! I wasted one. Rip. I'm coming, Mia. I'm coming, Mia. <gasps> what? What? The hell? Who are you? <laughs> that Ethan? was the spookiest part of the game. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and we should mention that another reason Resident Evil 7 holds a special place in our hearts. Bug Virginia Mom. <laughs> <laughs> if you thought giant vampire mom was sexy, wait till you, wait see till you see maggot begina. <laughs> Bug begina. In conclusion, Resident Evil 8 is one of our most hyped games this year. That's We're right. so excited. We played the demo. Mm -hmm. Listen, I cannot wait for yeah. that big booby yeah. vampire mommy yeah. to squash me into oblivion. Yeah, sometimes I just go play the demo and let her step on me for hours. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that about wraps it up for the first episode of The, the games, games We Didn't, didn't review. review. Did you like review, it? Review, review. Did you want more of the games that we didn't review? Please pick some from that big list you saw. Put back here the big list of games we've played. Whoa! Because listen, we have hours of gameplay, terabytes of data. Yeah. That we're not using. It's these assets. Your microphone is down there. <laughs> How long has that been going on? <laughs> I think I might have put it down there sometime in the middle of Luigi's mansion. So now, children, if you come gather, gather around the campfire, come in close. I would love to tell you a story about internet privacy. Uh, do mm -hmm. I need to be here for this part? No, you can do something else. All right. Listen, you need to protect your internet privacy, okay? Make sure your internet is safe and secure with NordVPN. A lot of us are working from home right now, so it's more important than ever to keep your data secure. When you use a VPN, you're browsing the internet privately by using a server somewhere else in the world. This can not only protect you from trackers, but give you access to awesome content in other countries on sites like Netflix. Huh, <laughs> remember Pan Am? Some of the things we love about NordVPN are the easy peasy Chrome extension, super fast servers, and most importantly, their 30 day risk free money back guarantee. You'll get a huge discount on a two year plan at nordvpn.com slash girlfriend reviews. And when you use our code girlfriend reviews, you'll get an extra month for free. No, actually, this game wasn't that good. Checking out our sponsor really helps support our channel. So thank you guys. We really appreciate it. Can I have one of those? Baby. <coughs> that was a good video.